Shoe Productions was a uniquely Memphis institution, a recording studio and custom music production house during the 70s and 80s in Memphis, Tennessee. Wayne Crook and Warren Wagner founded Shoe in 1971, and Andy Black joined them a year later. Together, they found some early success in the music industry and in advertising. In 1977, Jim Stewart and Bobby Manuel, formerly of Stax Records, opened a second studio, the Daily Planet, across the hall from Shoe. Between them, Shoe and the Daily Planet produced an impressive list of songs and albums. Joyce Cobb's top 50 chart song, Dig the Gold. Suzanne Jerome's Light in the Long Run. Pat Taylor's Bold Out Girl. Rick Christian's I Don't Need You, which later became a number one billboard smash by Kenny Rogers. And Memphis, I'm Coming Home to You, a classic recorded for FM 100 in Memphis. There were a lot of albums too. Disco Duck by Rick Dees and his cast of idiots. Dog Police is an uncategorizable band, but they live on in the video of their title song. Currently, it has over half a million hits on YouTube, and nobody knows who they are. The original cast album of Whole Lot of Shaken, Lou Rawls' Rebirth of Beale Street, Willie Mitchell's High on Christmas, Jimmy Griffin of Bread and Terry Sylvester of the Hollies joined forces to write and record their album Griffin and Sylvester at the Daily Planet. So many artists and musicians recorded at these studios. Elvin Bishop, Steve Cropper, Duck Dunn, Dr. John, Jerry Jeff Walker, Paul Butterfield, Tony Joe White, the Memphis Horns, Keith Sykes, Chris Bell, Deborah Dijon, the Radiants, Rob Junkless, William Brown, Mac Rice, R.B. Hudman, Shirley Brown, Levon Helm. Levon Helm? <sighs> Just to name a few. Looking back today, 30 years after they closed for good, it's clear their biggest legacy was the learning experience. I learned so much at SHU, man. Uh, it's like, I don't know what I'd do if I hadn't been that had that experience because it was like being a around everybody who knows what you don't know and if you and and you probably know some things that they need to know. I would come over here even when I wasn't supposed to because I just I liked everybody. I wanted to see what was going on and uh uh I knew if I came over here I would learn something. I always when I came over here, you know, I just always left with something. I was left with something in me where I, you know, I'm going to use, I got to use this. I mean, it was my school. It was my school for playing in the studio. I mean, anything I did after the fact and any success I've had at, at doing the studio thing, being a session guy, had, came from schooling I got there. It was the best nurturing and training probably I would ever or ever will get in life. So we provided the tools and the place and the atmosphere for all this creative energy to, you know, kind of go wild. And everybody learned from each other. Everybody was a teacher, everybody was a learner. And we just had so much fun. 